Preservation Group is asking a court to stop the demolition of a Confederate monument in downtown Asheville. The Vance Monument started coming down earlier this week, and 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell joins us live from Asheville with the very latest on this controversy. Ann? Well, Diane, the roads next to the Vance Monument are blocked off as crews work to bring down the obelisk. City Council voted to have the monument removed after protests and civil unrest last year. And despite legal challenges, demolition is continuing. After more than 120 years, the monument to North Carolina governor, senator, and confederate Zebulon Vance is coming down. According to the city of Asheville, enslaved people are believed to have been sold at the site of the monument. When people started pointing out, you know, what <clears throat> what it represented, I was like, you know, we don't really need this in the middle of our town. I think we could do something that was just more meaningful and uplifting for everyone. After protests and civil unrest last year, Asheville City Council voted to have the monument removed, saying it had become a threat to public safety. But some see the statue as a piece of history that should be preserved. The Buncombe County-based Society for the Historical Preservation of the 26th North Carolina Troops is fighting in court to stop the demolition. Attorney Edward Phillips is representing the group. Instead of tearing monuments down, we should be putting other monuments in place and celebrating the people who've advanced our nation since these times. He says they want the North Carolina Court of Appeals to stop the demolition until the state Supreme Court makes a decision in another case involving similar issues, including whether the state's monument protection law applies. That court should be allowed to do its job and render a decision one way or the other. A city spokesperson says demolition is continuing for now. I agree that people should celebrate their history, but I feel like the southern states were separating from our country, and I, I don't think that's something that we should continue to celebrate. An uh, attorney with the city of Asheville says they believe this request is improper and without legal justification. Live in Asheville, Ann Maxwell, Southern News. And thanks.